Good morning, Julia! Happy, Happy Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday of Homecoming Spirit Week. Wow, where do you go, Bengals? Today's Thank date is. Hi, I'm Sophia. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kendall today. Today's date is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2023. Thanks, Sophia and Kendall. Let's all please stand up and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may all be seated. I'm Jameson. I'm Namya. And we're here with our club's activities info for our final week of September. <laughs> By the way, you all look spiffy in your 70s disco attire. I can't wait until tomorrow's favorite band or artist outfit day. And we finish the week with everyone wearing green and gold on Thursday for a glow -a day. Thursday, after a glow -a day, we can watch the high school homecoming parade start at 5. And if you want to participate in the tailgate, that will start at 6 p.m. There's going to be tons of fun in our community this week, and you don't want to miss it. I can't wait to see everybody there. We also have a special schedule for Thursday. As you see here, we have 25 minute belts 1 through 7, moving belt 5 and flex belt to the end of the day, where our 7th and 8th grade will swap glow -thon and field day sessions. 7th grade will start in the gym for the glow -thon and 8th grade start, eight starts field day. What else do we have this week? You know, it would be a very good idea if you check your emails. That's right. There's so much stuff going around and you don't want to miss it. Check the lost and found. If we're missing something, go get it. Check your library due dates because this week is the passing of the first due date and I bet so many of you haven't turned in your books. Remember to be on time and be sycamore. Make sure you pack the stands of all white for our volleyball game today at 4.15 p.m. We ready, we ready, we ready for y'all. PBL Design and Thinking Club's first meeting is today, that's Tuesday, during Flex Belt in room 1101, across from the library. Be ready to share your innovative ideas. Email Mrs. Jarvis if you have any questions. Math Club's first meeting is tomorrow, Wednesday, from 3.15 to 4.15. Plan to meet in Mr. Miles' room at 2204. The Google Classroom code you will see on screen. 5EN2TQP. And email Mr. Miles if you have any questions. His Gmail will be right here. That's milesj at sycamoreschools.org. Glowathon! Register on pledgejar.com slash sycamore junior high slash website to get your free t-shirt and raise funds to reach our goal of $40,000. We are so close, Sycamore. We can do this, Sycamore. We are so close. Next week! Art Club will have an informational meeting next Wednesday, October 4th, after school in Mr. Heron's art room. Arrange to be picked up at 415 and join the Google Classroom code if you have any interest which you will see on screen. That's email 4 Ms. W E 3 U 3 M. E Miss Email Miss Heron if you have any questions. Now, now to our, our athletes, athletes of, the of the week with Mr. Stern. Hello, Aviator Nation. Uh, Mr. Stern here to do this week's Athlete of the Week. Hey, we want to remind you about the big volleyball game uh, coming up this afternoon. If you have the opportunity to join us in the Hype Squad, uh, that will be um, a 4.30 game. You can be here at 4.10 and uh, wear white. Hopefully you are wearing white, unless you're wearing 70s for homecoming. I am sitting here with Jane Anderson. Jane Anderson is one of our 7th grade gold volleyball players. And her coach says Jane Anderson has played a huge role in helping the 7th grade gold team start the season 10 and 0. She has a great court awareness and her strong defensive play consistently puts the team in a position to score. She went on multiple long serving runs in a very tight match against Mason and closed out the match by serving five in a row. That was a big win for you guys against Mason. She brings a positive attitude each day and puts in the hard work to continue to get better. Congratulations, Jane. So Jane, this is your write-up. This is your certificate and a free and this is new. Now it's a two-topping pizza from Papa John. So a big round of an applause for Jane Anderson. You're welcome. 
Our second athlete of the week comes to us from the eighth grade gold volleyball team, and this is Audrey Debevic. Did I pronounce that correctly? Fantastic. Audrey is a player everyone would want to have on their team. She always has a desire to win, a willingness to get better, and is a fantastic teammate. Audrey steps behind the service line and consistently scores us big points. Being a setter, she has a big role on the court, and she is open to feedback and always wanting to be the best version of herself for her team. Audrey comes to practice and games with a smile on her face. There it is. And is a key part of the success of our 9-1 and one season. So you guys have one loss to Mason, but you're playing another Mason team on Thursday, and then you'll likely see Mason in the GMC tournament, which is coming up very, very soon. So big round of applause for Audrey. Jay Sean is a member of our eighth grade football team, and this reads, Jay Sean plays cornerback and running back for the Aviator football team. He always gives his best effort in practice and in games. He's always eager to learn and ask great questions to further his knowledge of the game. How long have you been playing? Uh, I don't know, but I've played for a long time. Yeah, playing for a long time and still asking questions, which is great, always learning. Jay Sean has been a standout for our defense and had a huge interception last week against Hamilton. Keep up the great work, Jay Sean. You have a bright future ahead of you, not only on the field, but off of it as well. Fantastic. Congratulations. Your write-up. Yeah, big round of applause for Jay Sean. And your certificate. And yours is a one large, one topping pizza as well. So congratulations. Those are our Athletes of the Week. Have a great week, Sycamore. Thanks, Mrs. Stern, and congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Soccer games! Also, next Tuesday, girls and boys soccer games are on October 4th against Winton Woods at Sycamore Junior High. The boys are at 4.30 and the girls are at 5.45. Come on, Sycamore, I know we can win. Swimming and diving! There will be an informational meeting October 5th at, at 3.20 p.m. in room 2152 in the community room closest to the main office. For any students interested in trying out for the junior high swimming and diving team, the meeting will last approximately 30 minutes. Mark your calendars! October 10th is parent teacher conferences. October 18th is school picture retake day. October 26th is already the end of the first quarter. Keep doing your classwork, homework, and studying for the classes to achieve success. That is so crazy. I cannot believe we're already almost over the first quarter. October 27th is no school personal learning day. Speaking of that, we have no school this Friday. Really? What are you going to do? I don't know. I think I'm going to hang out with all my friends. But now we have some very important announcements, and that is birthdays! Happy birthday to our students celebrating today. Happy birthday to Benjamin B., Alan Aude, and Bo Car S. Time for joke of the day! J Mo, why the egg get kicked out of this class? I don't know, why did it? Because you told too many yells. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to follow your PBI's expectations and be the best you can be, Sycamore, and go race!